we got Zelly, it'll be two years, um, the end of August here. We actually unfortunately couldn't get her right at eight weeks. Um, she was ready to be picked up and we were just about ready to leave for a family road trip out west. And so we decided to go home through Oregon um, and actually picked her up um, at Scott and Carrie's place in Thai Valley. She was 13 weeks old or so. And so Scott and Carrie took care of her while we were vacationing and then we, uh, we picked her up at the end of our vacation. It's actually Zoe and she's yours. What? This what? Is, this is your puppy. What? She's going home with us. <laughs> what? I wanted a little like lap dog. And a big thing is that on my side is it just needed to be a, a hunting dog. Which to me equaled shedding. And I was like, can't have a shedding dog in the house. I'm not going to do it. He's like, the dog can live in the garage. I said, nope, not going to do that either. Um, so we were driving one weekend in the car and I was just Googling like non shedding hunting dogs. And um, came across um, Scott and Carrie's website, American Hunting Doodles, and got her name on, a, on the list, and we were excited. Zelly just really is an all-around, very versatile dog. She can hunt with Matt, she's my companion dog, she's great with the kids, family dog. You know, with an American Hunting Doodle, you get the full package. You wouldn't have to hunt. They would love to serve you in any way, whether that be um, just family companionship, some type of service animal. Um, they really just want to be with you and part of your family. And whatever that looks like for your, for your family, they'll fit right in with you. Lucas, how do you get the food ready for the puppies? So I think we're gonna up it to a cup and each. I grew up on a farm and we raised miniature horses and litters of puppies. And when we were getting Zelly, you know, Scott had recommended waiting a certain amount of time before you would spay or neuter an animal. And I got to thinking, oh my gosh, it'd be so much fun to have puppies. I just I inquired to Scott about, you know, how does breeding work? Like, could we breed her? And he actually said that that there would be an opportunity to be a part of his breeding program. Um, and so from there, we just continued the conversation as she got older um, and in the process just learned even more about the integrity of their program. And it's just, it's something you want to be a part of. I am, I'm drawn to what they're doing and, and just honored to give this incredible, you know, puppy to someone like we got Zelly. So. And I think too for uh, for our kids, it's just a. That's you know, a. Bonus. You're always looking for family adventures, and yeah. this kind of fell into place as a family adventure for us right now. So we're we're partners with Scott and Carrie in this. They do a lot of the the business marketing, sale matching side, and we're, you know, whelping and and raising the pups. Um, we work together a lot despite the distance um, geographically that we live. Um, they flew out here um, to spend some time with us. I got us set up um, right before she, she whelped the puppies. The great thing about their program is the goal is really to have every American hunting doodle grow up in the same environment and experience. So all the breeders that are affiliated with Scott and Carrie are following the same protocol. We want the puppies to all have the same experience in their first eight weeks. Um, it's been a great, great partnership and learning experience for us. I think there's a lot of people out there that aren't breeding and distributing dogs to the integrity level that American Hunting Doodles is. And so, you know, I, I would love to see you know, everyone just kind of up their game a little bit so that people are, are getting a great dog. American Hunting Doodles isn't your typical cross anything with a poodle doodle. They really are different. <laughs> Having the puppies here for me is just a family experience and a family memory. and. It's also evolved now into as the puppies are getting older and we're thinking about them leaving, um, which they've become such a part of our family in such a short amount of time. Um, now it's switching gears and looking forward to you know meeting their owner, their new owners, or 
um, finding out where they're going and what, what their life story is going to be. And so we're getting, we're getting excited for that. And hopefully we'll be able to keep in touch and kind of follow along with each puppy's journey and, and the joy that they're bringing to their new families. We're the Tyson family. And we're from Victoria, Minnesota. 